Yes, people, welcome back. Today, I'm joined by... Nick LMAO. What's up? Nick, how are you doing? It's your second time headlining a Misfits event. What, what does that mean to you? Honestly, like, damn, it, it's crazy. I, I'm so grateful. It, it's, it's such an amazing experience. I'm a lot less nervous this time. I'm actually able to enjoy myself here, so I, that's a really nice aspect of it. Yeah. Looking back at your last fight against Jay Swingler, what would you make of it? What, what goes through your mind when you think about that, that whole time? See, no matter what I think, I always come back to that it was the greatest night of my life, regardless of the results. So I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. But yeah, obviously it would have been cool to like come out with a draw or a win that night. But you know what? That's what I'm going to do this time. So it just is what it is. Exactly. Yeah, but that, that whole result has set you up to where you are now, so it's absolutely fine. Jay Swingler has since retired since your fight. Would you say that you're the reason he retired? Nah, he's coming back. He's not retired. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's retiring for now. He's taking a break. He's taking a break, but he'll be back. We, we got some unsettled business. He, he's, not happy. he's not happy with that, with that win. He knows, he knows he's not happy with it, and uh, I, I know he'll be back. I mean, he'll be back. If you guys fought again, what do you think would happen? I think it would be a good fight. I think if we came at a weight where I where it's more equal, I think he's gonna it's gonna be a hard time for him. Well, Nick, this time around you actually have three opponents this time. What what's that like, especially coming in coming into fight now? You have three different people to watch out for. Well, it, it's all right. Like I liked B Dave. Now he's just like B Dave is like a nice guy, but like being like close to him, like bro, is one of the most annoying people I've ever met. Um, Ryan. He's kind of like scary. He gives me serial killer vibes. And then Swarms, I haven't even met him. But I actually like Swarms, like from what I've seen. But I haven't met him yet. So, Swarms coming here today? I mean, he's supposed to, but I don't know where bro's at. We were supposed to be here uh, a minute ago. Me, I've been here like an hour. How was he late? I don't know. He wasn't Swarms, Swarms. like him and Ryan, bro. They're slacking. You guys are slacking. I saw in the face to face, they were kind of going back and forth. Do you think they're going to be the ones to be in the ring first? Or do you want to start the fight? I really want to start the fight, but I think it would be funny if they started it. So if I go in against Ryan or if I go in against Swarms, I'm going to just tag the other person in. <laughs> not, not really. Maybe, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure on the rules, but is it possible for you to stay in there the whole time and just breeze everyone out? Not the whole time, but you could like stay in and then tap out at the last 10 seconds and then be subbed back in. Okay. How has how sparring worked coming up, coming into this fight? Have you kind of told like your your fellow campmates, listen, this is what the fight I'm doing. I'm fighting three different people. I need you guys to kind of emulate that with me in sparring. They just, I, I just had them come at me aggressive, throwing haymakers, throwing like trying to like drown me. I do well. I don't get panicked. I stay calm. So yeah, I just tell them like you know like because I assume like B Dave, Swarm, Ryan, they're all gonna come out. Power, energy, coming for the knockout. So. Just gonna deal with it. I'm a counter. I'm a move back. I'm a move forward. Everything, you know. Nice. KSI versus Tommy Fury. I know you're a big KSI fan. What do you make of that fight? Uh, I really hope it happens because then I'll be on the undercard. You know what I'm saying, Mams, my boy. Um, but yeah, I, I think that I respect KSI for taking that fight. If he can pull up the upset, like I've always backed him against Logan. I was like, bro, KSI, easy. Like no, no, no hesitation. This one is tough. Because I haven't seen JJ tested yet. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's had quite fairly easy opponents when you when you look at it. And Tommy yeah. Fury is definitely not an easy opponent. I think if there is someone in the scene that could do it, he's he's one of those people. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. What about Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz? If Jake loses that, he should just. What about you versus Nate Diaz? What would happen if that were to happen? Depends how many rounds. If he if if it was shorter distance, maybe I could outstrike him, but I think he would just keep coming at me. So. I'm not, like, Jake has so much weight on him. I'd, I'd be similar weight to Nate, so I don't think I could just put him out like that. But, yeah, if, if it was, like, two rounds, maybe. If it's, like, six, eight rounds, Nate Diaz would, would he's a zombie, bro. He's a zombie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is. He is a zombie. Nick, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate, appreciate your time. It. Yo, everyone, subscribe, like the video. Let's do it. Say subscribe to Subtle. Subscribe to Subtle, guys. Let's go. Bro, thank you so much.